What's up y'all? Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the new year, new me finds that I picked up at Target. I think Target really shines with their planners and organization and notebooks. So I picked up plenty of that, but I also got a couple of other, let's call it resolution-y things. So I'm going to share all of that in today's video. As always, everything's going to be listed below in the description box and let's get into it. So I'm actually going to start out with this office toolkit. This is from Threshold at Target. It might be too late to order this for a gift, but this is an excellent, excellent gift if you can snag it in stores. It is $13. It's pink and in gold writing on the front, it says office tools. This is everything that you need for your little mobile office setup. And on the inside, you just have various gold office tools. There's also room in here if you want to add to it for specific to whatever you need. But think about this for being on the go, keeping it in your car. It's also a really compact size and you just want to keep this in a desk drawer. I think this is adorable. I was clickbait for it. Also from Threshold in the same color, Color, which this does have a faux leather feel to it is this laptop holder so you can slip your laptop on the side and then you also have all of these little stretchy compartments for your cords any tech that you might need and then there's also a zip compartment in the back what I think is really fun about this is the slim profile this is great if I don't want to take my work bag somewhere my laptop will still be protected and I can have any cords or chargers that I need in one place this one I believe also only is available in the pink all right, I have lots of planners and different paper goods to share in today's video, but something that I pick up every year, no matter what new system I am trying out, is a desk pad. This one is from Sugar Paper, which I love everything they do, and I've had a lot of different versions of this monthly desk calendar, but this one is beautiful. It's black, has this gold lettering at the top. I just love these for quickly being able to look at my month or getting a phone call and just writing something down really fast. I have a couple different desk setups, and I like to use this at my home desk, which is black, white, and has some acrylic pieces. All of those are from Amazon, by the way. I will link them below. Very affordable. But since I keep my computer on an acrylic riser, I do have room for this to be on my desk. It is a must-have for me. Several notebooks. I tried last year after watching the Flourish Planner on YouTube, which I love all of her videos. I will link her below. But I tried to do all of my notes digitally, and that only lasted for a couple of months. There's just something about old school writing something down, crossing something off a list. What I do like to use digital notes for is things that I need to go back and reference, but not necessarily for brain dumps, to-do lists, anything like that. I would love to know below in the comments though if you guys like digital note taking or are you guys pen and paper too. So I picked up these two different options at Target. The first one is this smaller marble one. It has a gold spine. It looks really pretty. On the inside, it just has subject date and lined paper. I think this is gonna be perfect for purse size. And then also, I did not realize Rachel Zoe has a collaboration with Target. Who does Rachel Zoe not have a collaboration with? I like everything that she does. This one is a gold sparkly and animal print notebook and I might use this one either for a fitness journal I looked at a lot of different trackers and all of those and, and they all seemed like more than what I was looking for so I might possibly use it for that I also like that both of these are hardcover especially for throwing in a bag and going they're just gonna last a whole lot longer and speaking of fitness I did pick up the blog a starter kit I've seen their stuff in store before and I think it's all so pretty the starter kit does include a yoga mat some resistance bands a mat strap and a massage ball all of their packaging is adorable I did place an Amazon on order so I'm going to be comparing different affordable fitness things workout gear all of that in upcoming videos but I had to pick this up and I quite like everything that I've tried from Target's all in motion brand I have these jogger pants here um, in olive I love them they have been sold out in black but I was finally able to get my hands on them I do size up in these because I want jogger pants to be a little bit oversized I like to travel in these so I'm gonna test out working out in them as well they are so comfy and also from sugar paper I picked up these heart-shaped gold push pins I got these to make a vision board I normally end up doing a combo of physical ones I make multiple digital ones I go in on a vision board let me know what you guys like to do for a vision board below in the comments so I did pick these up to be able to make my vision board or mood board on my large cork board these were adorable and my planner that I picked up is also the sugar paper planner I bought a version of this for years I really like this especially if you are into a big picture overview of your month you don't need necessarily all of your appointments all of your time blocking everything in one place um, I do that digitally with Google Calendar that's especially helpful too if you need to communicate your calendar to other people. I think a combo of digital and pen to paper is what really works best for me. But I would love to know in the comments how you guys plan your year. But my favorite thing about this planner is that you do have the monthly overview, of 
course, but then it is more dashboard style of your to-do list, to buy, etc. And then you see just a quick breakdown of the days of the week. So this is my main planner system that I like to use, but my mom is here helping me film. She also has planner opinions. I do, I do. And we plan a little bit differently, so I think it might be interesting for y'all to see some other options. Let's bust into some of this other stuff. Okay, so instead of a large desk pad, which is what you have, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I am using this one. Mostly, but I like it because it's small, right? Yes, so this is a weekly as opposed to the monthly that I shared at the beginning, both from Sugar Paper though. Yeah. Um, I would say this is good for the desk, but I also like to be able to rip it and take it with me. That seems to be the theme. I like to rip and take, right? <laughs> That's actually similar to her next item. It is. But instead of using like the little spiral notebooks like that you're gonna use, yes. I am going in on more of this legal pad business. So it is a little portfolio and it's got the little clip here and then legal pad. So again, I could rip it and take it and, and do all the things. So I have those two things that I loved that I picked up, right? Um, But for my planner, we got this. Didn't we get this at Walmart? We got it at Walmart. I fell in love with it and she immediately called dibs. I was like, guys, this is fantastic. I have gone in on Happy Planners, Erin Condren, all of those throughout the years, right? So this is a month at a glance, but then it has pages within the month that are just little jobs little jot notes. They're right? calling them your daily tasks. For the person who really doesn't plan anymore by the day, by the appointment, by the hour, this is way, way better for me. Another thing that I love about this little dashboard is that it does have a little track your habit area. So if you were trying to do your fitness or you've got that atomic habit that you're trying to finally this year, we're going to make happen. It's a fun way to try to do that. This will sit on my desk. I probably will not take this anywhere. I'm probably not going to travel with my um, planner either. So that's why I picked up. This is from Rachel Parcel and the Big Sky collaboration. So cute. All it, of her stuff is darling. And I feel like it looks like her. If you follow yeah. Rachel Parcel, you'll know what I'm saying. She's so cool. So she had a <laughs> bunch of different sizes of planners. This, this one's actually not the smallest, but it is smaller than my other agenda. I'm going to probably keep this one in my purse. I've never tried that before. So we will see if this even gets used. But I think I'm gonna keep this one in my purse or also have it with me when I travel. I do have a digital Google Calendar that I totally should stop what I'm doing when I'm traveling and add appointments and different yeah. things to. I normally don't. So what I think is a lot more likely is that... <laughs> So what I think I'm probably going to end up doing is using this when I travel, when I'm more on the go. That way I don't have to take the larger one. Um, comes in a bunch of different patterns though. I would also check out just her regular planner. But while you were doing this, I saw this in your stash. This is lovely. Okay, so this is from Russell and Hazel who they must now be sold at Target. I have bought their items before on Amazon. A lot of my acrylic desk accessories, I will link them below, are from Russell and Hazel. So I knew I was going to like this when I saw it, but I didn't realize it had an elastic when I ordered this on line. So I'm going to slip this over my planner. <gasps> oh, that's I thought, so good. I thought this was just a pencil bag and I was going to put it in my work tote, but now I think it's going <laughs> to go on my planner. It is thin. It's gold. I think this is the only color it comes in. It's very affordable. Let's, if I, let's try it out. It really does. So it's, um, has the elastic that it is now being held in place. Ah, that is lovely. I mean, it would look very nice on your black as well, right? My aesthetic. Yeah. And I also picked up this mechanical pencil set. These were black and they match my aesthetic that I have going on. Um, these actually had really great reviews online. I personally prefer to plan in a pencil. I did also pick up this very aesthetic felt pen pack that probably won't. Well, so That's you always are use a pencil. I do, I do. I try to use a pencil because I feel like if I make a mistake, then I've got to go find why out and do all the things like I can never have a mark through so I got the highlighters from sugar paper I got them last year I loved them but now I want one for my actual desk instead of to take with me because yes I travel with highlighters as well what I like about these is that we have a thin end and then we also have a thick end so I can use these for my for my planner and stuff like that but if you also do any of the Bible journaling and things like that you, this will not seep through so which is very thin 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 paper right i also picked up these two notepads very pretty i mean look at the gold foily on the side it is a weekly and daily just tear off notepad i'm planning on keeping these over at my other office okay so tanya was eyeballing my <laughs> sugar paper this little paper flag insert so this will go into my planner um it has all these very aesthetic little flags that i can use 
for various things. Did you already talk about the spiral? I didn't. So Ooh. I got I got one of these after um, you had one of these from last year. Yes, and now we both have it because I also got a new one. But what I use this for is at the top of each page, I put the date and then my brain dump, my everything that happens in the course of a day that I need to write, phone numbers, all the things. What they also had was this wonderful, we really went in on the matte black kind of business. Well, my desk is black and white, so uh, I wanted it all to match. So pretty. Okay, so we have some end of the year things and all of that. And instead of getting, you know, the regular binder, look at this really pretty. I mean, let me give you a quick tour. <laughs> this is little um, dividers in the black with the gold foil business for the, pretty. For the labels. Ugh. And it's a matte black right. on the outside. Oh, Also by Sugar Paper. This is beautiful. And last up, the New Year New Me item that um, maybe doesn't make a lot of people's list. I did pick up this trash can to sit at my desk. I was watching one of Ollie videos, which I love his channel. I will link it below. And he was talking about how much time he wastes throwing away things. It's so true. It's so true. So I'm taking his advice and I bought myself a beautiful Target trash can. Well, and it's, it's gold, but not shiny gold. It's kind of this it's nice. It's lovely. Actually, I would love to know in the comments what little things you guys do or have that you feel like really boost your productivity. Let us know. And we love productivity and the organizing side of YouTube. Some of our favorites are Katie Steckley. We have her Notion content creator template. One of our favorites. Jules Aker mm -hmm. also has a lot of digital, Goodness. beautiful aesthetic planning. Also has lots of Notion and all of that mm -hmm. that we've also used. But Dawn Nicole, if anybody is into topography, and fonts and things like that to make your planner beautiful as you write. She has great little tutorials. I also have her book. Yeah, we'll link all this below in the description yeah. box. All right, y'all, that wraps up this new year, new me Target haul. I mean, we are going to get our life together, right? We're gonna try. Thank you so much for hanging out with us during Vlogmas and I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm looking here. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I don't, I need to know where to even look. What else she got there? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she placed an order that I did not see. It's an insert. <laughs>